Rice gum, what are you doing, man? What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health, and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're into that stuff, you know what you should do? Do you want to know what you should do? You should go follow me on Instagram at The Rewired Soul because all I'm trying to do going into 2019 is hit 10,000 followers so I can get that beautiful swipe up feature in my stories. That's it. Come follow me over there for some extra mental health goodness. And I take amazing pictures like these to show you my gorgeous cats. All right. <laughs> But anyways, anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna be talking about rice gum today. We're gonna be talking about his channel. I'm not gonna be diving into like rice gum uh, controversies as him as a person. If you want that scoop, go watch the content cop. There's all that stuff. But yeah, I don't think rice gum is a good role model or anything like that. But I was actually inspired to write, uh, not write, uh, to record this video talking about rice gum from one of my new favorite channels. It's not even a new channel, but the channel is Christopher Tom. So this dude has been following me for a little while on uh, YouTube and he's talked to me on Twitter and he's a good dude. And we've chatted a little bit and I just now this morning went over to his channel and I started binge watching his stuff. And oh my God, I'm gonna link his channel down below and up at the info card. Go check his channel out. Like this, this kid, this kid is legit one of my favorite commentators now, like one of my favorites, like I was watching it and it's like a blend between like uh, YouTube commentary or even like internet culture commentary and like psych IRL, like I get that kind of vibe. This kid is only 18 years old and like his understanding of the human brain and psychology and the mind and things going on in society, like it was blowing me away. So I was talking to him this morning, Hopefully he'll come over and do a collab with me. But you guys, like he's only at 9,000 subscribers. And like my, one of my other goals aside from growing my Instagram in 2019 is to help this kid blow up. Like he is phenomenal and super, super smart for his age. So go check out Christopher Tom, all right? But anyways, I uh, this morning I was just binge watching his stuff and I watched his video on rice gum. Like I don't really care about rice gum or following his stuff. But there was a part in Christopher Tom's video that really stuck out to me, and I'll show you a clip right now. And although some YouTubers aren't able to change things up, Ricegum's audience was actually pretty receptive to the changes. His overall viewership wasn't really affected by this change. However, his relationship with his fans eventually began to deteriorate. He would start to upload at a slower rate. Now I've just been slacking so much, and you would think like now I don't post that much, you're like, ah, Ricegum is probably out doing something useful, out doing something fun. No, I'm at home doing nothing. I just been lazy. I was on my couch using Tinder like two seconds ago. Now this in and of itself isn't so bad. What made this situation so bad for him was that he would often make promises to his subscribers like daily uploads. And he would continuously break these promises again and again. Hey guys, it's me again. I feel like every week we talk, I give you guys more of a reason to hate me. I have a lot of supporters and I have a lot of haters, but slowly my supporters are turning into haters. Like it's a combination of lack of content, broken promises and just being inconsistent is honestly all my fault you guys deserve a lot better but he still continued to slack on his upload schedule so yeah the first topic i want to talk about is like having false promises and little to no accountability and i'll use some of my experience like you guys we cause so much of our own problems and we don't understand like you guys i try to take these youtube um figures and try to help you understand how you're doing this stuff in your own life this is me like i hate to admit it but rice gum and myself had this in common so those of you who don't know me if you're new to my channel i'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic all right i have six and a half years clean from drugs and alcohol i haven't touched a single substance but what i learned when i got clean and sober was it wasn't just that people didn't like me because of my addiction they liked me because i was just irresponsible you couldn't hold me accountable for anything like this is one of the reasons why I talk about accountability so, so, so much. Like I was rice gum. 
I, I knew I was screwing up. I always knew I was screwing up, whether it was with my family, with my girlfriend, with my friends, with work, right? I would keep messing up over and over and over and I would apologize. I would keep coming back and apologize. And the thing was, I was so sincere about my, my apology. I felt awful. I felt awful about it. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna change. I'm gonna try to stop doing this. I'm, I'm gonna work really hard at it, but I didn't. I didn't, I kept doing the same exact behaviors. And what Christopher Tom was pointing out is how rice gum became inconsistent with his content and he kept coming back and apologizing for it. And whether he was sincere or not, I, I don't need to be the judge of it, but we can know what really happened to rice gum by seeing these false promises. And like Christopher Tom pointed out, his fans even noticed that too. Like you guys, he, if any of you are aspiring YouTubers, let me tell you one of the first lessons I learned when I jumped on this platform. When I first started my YouTube channel, I started looking around at other mental health channels, other addiction channels, and seeing who was doing good, who wasn't doing uh, great, or who stopped growing or whatever it was. The best lesson that I learned when I started researching this was, all I had to do was just outlast everybody because so many people drop off. So many people lack consistency. I knew, I knew for a fact that if I could be consistent on this platform, I would grow. And I'm gonna talk more about that in a minute. But like, that's all you have to do. You have to be more consistent than the next guy. Like other people will try to tell you like, oh, you can't grow on YouTube or you can't grow on social media or you can't do this or you can't do that. All you gotta do is be better. All you gotta do is be better by being consistent. Like my editing isn't all that great. I do very minimal editing. In fact, this video that you're watching right now, there is very little editing in this entire video. I use like one clip and that's about all I'm gonna do. But my consistency is on point, right? And this is something that's huge, especially when you're on a platform like this and you're building a fan base. Like I'm not gonna name names, uh, but like there is a mental health YouTuber out there who was one of the first ones that I found and I absolutely fell in love with their channel. It was so helpful, the information was great, just so amazing. And as I started to take YouTube seriously, they stopped posting videos. Now granted, they were dealing with their own kind of mental health struggles, but as a mental health YouTuber, that's one of the reasons we gotta keep this thing in check. Like, same thing as a father, I gotta keep my mental health in check so I can be a good father. But when we're mental health YouTubers, it gives us even more of a reason to make sure our mental health is in a good place. But anyways, this YouTuber made a couple comebacks, disappeared, and, and yeah, it bums me out. Like, it really bums me out. But you guys, this is why people like RiceGum are losing subscribers. Like, you'll see, you'll see some YouTubers who do this when they when they become less consistent. They actually lose a lot of subscribers when they post. And here's here's my theory on this: is that people forgot they were subscribed to this person because they haven't posted in so long. And then when they post. People get upset and they're like, what, what is this? Like, I'm not gonna stay subscribed to you if you're posting so inconsistently. And they unsubscribe, right? And that's something that Christopher Tom pointed out with Rice Gum's number, is that they're starting to dip. So he's made these false promises and these uh, apologies that he doesn't follow through with. So the number one thing I want you to take away from my video, if you're somebody who apologizes all the time and promises to change your ways, Actions speak louder than words, all right? Like I have clients who came to me all the time like, oh, my family still doesn't trust me. Oh, why don't people forgive me? Oh, this, that, and the other, right? And it's because actions speak louder than words, all right? Apologies don't mean jack squat unless you're doing something about it. I had somebody DM me the other day about their relationship. They were in a relationship with somebody with borderline personality disorder and they were telling me about you know how difficult it is but they're trying to work on it. And um, this person told me that their partner is trying, they're trying to get better. And I'm like, what do you mean by trying, right? Because I hear a lot of people, when they're saying they're trying to work on their mental health, they're not doing anything. They're just saying they are like, what does this mean? What does trying mean? Are you going to therapy, right? Are you meditating? Are you journaling? Are you taking medications? Are you talking to your doctor? Are you seeing a psychologist, a psychiatrist? Have you joined a support group? Like that's trying to me. A lot of people say, oh, I'm trying, but they're not really doing anything. So I want all of you to remember, your actions speak louder than words. The second topic I wanna talk about is something that Tristan and I talk a lot about. And like, I'm thinking about making a video on this. I just don't know how to tie it into mental health, but now's a good time to just kind of bring it up and I'm not gonna name names again. But like Tristan, Tristan is absolutely blown away at the amount of videos I put out because I'm pretty much daily, I do two videos a day most days, right? And Tristan's like, 
What are these other YouTubers doing who are posting like once a week, who do this full time? And I can't help but ask myself the same question. Now, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of them, you know, they tour or they travel or whatever, but how many YouTubers do you know who post one video a week or even one video a month and this is their full time job, right? Rice gum's a great example like, Bro, what are you doing with the rest of your time? Like, what are you doing? Like, people ask me all the time, or they say, Chris, I wish I had your energy, I wish I had your work ethic. No, the only thing is, and I need to make videos about time management, or maybe I'll send it out in my email blast. By the way, sign up for my email list, it's free, it's down in the description. But anyways, like, the only reason I'm able to get so much done is because a long time ago, I realized how much time every single day I'm wasting, right? How much time I waste binge watching Netflix, how much time I waste binge watching YouTube, how much time I just completely zone out and just flip through Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. When you count up all those hours, you realize how much time you are wasting. Like. Something I'm trying to do every single day. If I am awake, I try to make every single minute count. And maybe like, maybe, and this is something that all of you can use to your um, benefit if you have a similar story to me, but six and a half years ago, I almost died, dude. Like I had a 10% chance of living because of my drug addiction and alcoholism. Like time is very precious to me. Um, a lot of you comment on how I always look tired. I don't sleep that much. When I wake up early in the morning, I don't like to go back to bed because when I'm awake, like I am living on borrowed time and I am so grateful every single day that I get to wake up and I get to do something like this to help inspire other people like you to improve your mental health. I love it. I love it so, so, so much. My life is so much better today. So once I realize that, I try to make every minute of my day a little bit better by making it worthwhile, whether it's making these videos, whether it's spending time with Tristan or my son, or it's just communicating with all of you. Like just this morning, I did a live stream and I got to hang out with you guys, all right? But anyways, anyways, let me know what your thoughts are about inconsistent YouTubers, or let me know if you have issues with time management. Let me know down in the comments, all right? But anyways, don't forget, go subscribe over to Christopher Tom. The kid is amazing. We're gonna collab soon, all right? And go follow me on Instagram because I love you and I need to be able to have people swipe up. All right, <laughs> anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And make sure you go check out the exclusive content up over on Patreon for all the patrons, okay? And if you would like to sign up, click or tap right there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.